stop. Don't respond. Don't respond. You ain't even peep when the intro came on with the Teddy Pendergrass. That was that black fire. Don't do it. Rick Ross reacts to Kendrick Lamar's diss to Drake. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, Rick Rose has reacted to Kendrick Lamar's new diss song to Drake called Euphoria. Some people say that Kendrick's winning now. Some people feel like it was a bit of a weak diss. Very mixed bag of reactions online. But Rick Ross, of course, he was in a feud with Drake, has sided with Kendrick. Check out the clip. White boy, white boy, white boy. Crody, Crody, Crody. Do they even have Wi-Fi on that cargo plane? He may not even heard this yet, but look, white boy, I know we not friends, but let me give you this advice because you ain't got nobody around you. Or you ain't got no real around you. Let me just put it like that. Ain't no real. Stop. Don't respond. Don't respond. You ain't even peep when the intro came on with the Teddy Pendergrass. That was that black fire. Don't do it. Don't go write an eight minute verse that I know Yachty, I know you want to get that money. You ain't wrong to keep buying them big houses, but I'm gonna tell you this like a real. Ain't no more BBLs, ain't no more fillers, ain't no more cheap fillers. Yeah, fam. I ain't gonna lie, Rick Ross is actually quite funny. That beginning line where he describes Drake's private jet as a cargo plane doesn't have wi-fi that he won't get this message till later on i didn't know this guy was funny i did not know this guy was funny but he's basically telling drake don't respond you've lost it already don't come out of some long verse and he even poked fun again that he has ghostwriters he said don't get don't let little yadi write you a song for you and i ain't gonna lie ricky's actually winning this beef with drake although we want to hear it on music but this online game he's doing is i think it's like I think it's clear. He's clearly in the lead. I really think. I really think he's gonna deliver. I think he's playing with us and toying with us. We gotta see now what Drake gonna do. Work One Hundred responds to Kendrick Lamar's diss to Drake. So the internet is going crazy. Kendrick responded to Drake's drop and give me fifty diss. What seventeen, eighteen days later? Damn. Um, mixed reception from what I've seen online. Some people say Drake lost that first round some people say Kendrick's up that first round I kind of gauge from that that it's probably a little bit of a draw but WAC 100 was speaking to DJ Academics and this is what WAC had to say check out the clip I expect more of Kendrick and Kendrick he gotta come back I need to hear that you know how game sound like he was ready to die on 300 bars yeah I ain't gonna lie that nigga he thought he game came on that shit like I got to deliver cause it's the last time I'm a Wally, you, you ain't boy, never heard 300 bars hey, about this shit. Hey, hey, hey. I really think I really think he's gonna deliver I think he's playing with us and toying with us we gotta see now what Drake gonna do bro listen I'm just keeping it real I know we all west and all that. I'm I'm in I'm just going soul music for music. Me personally, 17 days. Drake stood up. We responded, and I was I think that the the time delay doesn't suffice to the delivery of the type of song. I was I, I was looking for Freddy Cougar, Michael Myers, Kendrick. <laughs> Kendrick ain't known for doing a, a bunch of back and forth. He usually gonna hit, sometimes he don't even respond. Kendrick's one of our greats. I got high expectations, right? I'm not never expecting anything mediocre or a warm up. I'm expecting Kendrick to be full in Toronto all the way. Maybe it's on me. And I'm like, just expecting something. Maybe he's giving it up. Maybe he's setting it up. Maybe it's the rope or dope. I don't know. I'm just saying this one is I got to I gotta give it to Drake. But I do believe the next one, Kendrick ain't going to be playing with him. So Drake may want to reconsider focusing on the commercial shit, and he better focus on the real shit. Because the next one, K-Dot ain't going to play with him. Yeah, fam. What you can tell from there is that Wack is not fully, fully impressed by Kendrick's reply he was kind of you could tell he was underwhelmed basically 
he thought Kendrick would come for, for Drake's neck. But it was more like a light warning shot. So Wack kind of gives it to Drake as the winner for that first round, only just. I got Drake up 1-0. I don't know about you. Oh, your, your calculator's broke. No, my brother. Your calculator's off. What? One up from Whip. What were you? So Kendrick Lamar has done it again. Released a diss song that has made the whole world go crazy. The streaming numbers have gone mad in just a couple of days of releasing his Euphoria diss to Drake. And as expected, big figures are reacting to the diss song. Now we all know DJ Academics is like Drake's biggest fan. And Joe Budden's had some friction with Drake over the years. Even as recently as a few weeks ago. Well, they both reacted to the diss song, and I got the clip right here, people. Check it out. Unlike Aubrey, dropped right while I was at work. He looked out. See, Aubrey kept hitting you and some other people. Yeah, I mean, Kendrick really looked out for me. Salute to Kendrick for thinking about the people that record on Tuesday and Friday and people not dropping on a Saturday morning. But back to you, my brother. Oh. Hey, we got action. I'm, as a hip-hop fan, I love it. As a Kendrick fan, I love it. I think he said a lot. A lot's already been said, but he said a lot in a real Kendrick way. And I can't wait to get home and unpack this and find all the rest of the double and triple entendres that are out there. But listen, keep that same countdown going for Drake. You hear me? I believe there's people like you with biases and hidden agendas and hidden beefs, that you won't admit, that won't allow a fair discussion to happen by the way i gave i gave kendrick credit he responded in 17 days drake took 22 that is a plus i give him that but i do believe people want to see drake bleed so much that they're down to say anything and also have opinions that probably is going to be conducive to try to say this is either over or or uh i got drake up 1-0 i don't know about you Oh, your, your calculator's broke. No, my brother. Your calculator's off. One up from Whip. What, what, you, what, what, well, you got to tell me what he said on the record. That that would make you feel like he's up one Do up. you think that push-ups is better than Euphoria? It's a better song, absolutely. <laughs> Who laughing in the background? All of us. Everybody here. Everybody here, dog. There's a reason that y'all thought that shit was AI. No. Not you want to see him humbled. I want to see Drake bleed. I do. Same thing. That's exactly. I want to know how my favorites respond to getting punched in the face. And Drake has had a smooth ride his whole career. I would like, well, except for that push your T fight. Uh, yeah. Except for that push your T fight. I want to see what happens when someone that's on your level is in front of your face. Not push your T who you could plaque shame, sound scan shame, like catalog shame. It's a in front of you now that you have to respect even if you don't like him. But m my only he problem... He can't no more. Okay. All that charged up, yo, oh, he's running away, all that. Is it your girl tour, world tour? All of that was fly. You had a decade-long run of killing this. Now, the boogeyman is here. Yeah, fam. As expected, DJ Academics is on Team Drake. And Academics was going on about how long... It's taking Kendrick Lamar to respond to Drake. But he, at least he admitted that Drake actually took longer to respond to the like that verse compared to Kendrick replying to Drop and Give Me 50. And Academics also gave Drake a one-up that he's winning. But Joe Budden actually felt that wasn't the case. Although Joe said that he hadn't listened to the song enough time, so he couldn't really have an opinion. It seemed like he believed that Kendrick Lamar was in the lead. 